Hi, Nestor. We're here today in the Netherlands in a Philips refurbishment factory. So what exactly does Philips do here? Yeah, welcome, Dave, uh, to our factory here in Best. Well, what we do here is we get equipment back, um, equipment that has been pre-owned by hospitals. We get it back after a trade-in uh, mechanism that we have in place, and we would uh, clean it, we will disinfect it, mm. we will review all the different components, parts that will need to be refurbished, we will refurbish them, uh, we will repair, we will upgrade to the requirements of the customer, and then we will test it to make sure that it uh, fulfills all the requirements, and then uh, we will pack it and we'll be ready to be sent to, to a new customer. Well, I think it's for Philips, but I would say for, for companies that are in business to business, I'm not saying that this is not possible for business to consumer. I'm just saying that business to business, one of the advantage of that, uh, those relationships is uh, the residual value. So when you design, you design for reliability, for uh, exploiting if you want all the value that you have created through the years. And uh, residual value is very important uh, for companies like us. So once the first customer has gone through the process to the first life cycle of the product, that doesn't mean that the product doesn't, uh, cannot be used anymore. Actually, it has a value. It may not have the state-of-the-art technology, but it still has a value that you can use for uh, 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 what we call uh, standard procedures, right? Or, or you could use it for other type of... Uh, of therapy uh, that, that you need that doesn't require state of, of the art technology. And that's where this equipment can be reused and, and that's why Philips is interested because the residual value normally at the end is something that we can use for five to ten years more. But how important are the suppliers to your refurbishment activities? Yeah, suppliers are very important uh, since um, they are uh, the companies that have delivered to us uh, the key components. They have the knowledge of the technology uh, they have the knowledge of their processes. So sometimes we will need to refurbish or repair these, these components with them. Mm. So we will send them back so then they can do whatever is needed and they will supply them back to us again. So that relationship is very good. I would say that as well, in circular economy, uh, the relationship with the suppliers will change because it's not going to be any more just one transaction as it is right now, it will have probably two or three transactions after the first transaction. Yeah. And therefore the business models and the relationship that we have with our suppliers uh, would change. And we're working with a couple of them to see how we can uh, expand this uh, to more components and with more suppliers in the future. It is a win-win-win-win situation. So really looking at the whole value chain, it is a win situation for everybody. Let's start with the customers or, or, or even, even go further. Let's start with the patients or the users. Uh, we are talking about now access to services and technology where you don't need to own the asset. In the past, that was an issue because you need to have a capital expenditure in order to acquire the equipment and therefore then have access to the technology and services that you were looking for. If you change the model, actually you benefit users and patients uh, because they would have access to that technology. So it's not about owning, it is about access. That's the first thing. So more people will have access to, 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 to our equipment and to our uh, diagnosed tools. Then second, the hospitals, uh, they have seen in the last years their budget uh, be reduced. So they better manage their equipment. So they really now understand and, and look at what are the, the needs of their patients mm. and those ones that require state-of-the-art uh, technology would be used but then the, all the other ones that normally say the percent of the other procedures would not use the state-of-the-art technology and you would be able to use a remanufacturer or refurbish equipment mm. uh, so there is uh, for a lower cost obviously uh, with same guarantee same service levels so there is where uh, there is the advantage for the customer